Okay, so this is going to be a simple demonstration of how to use cookies in Wicket. In fact, it's quite simple. So, first of all, anywhere on the request cycle, meaning actually at any time, you can use the following command. Um, you get the request cycle and get its response, and of course, cast it to a web response, a Wicket web, re web response. And then all you have to do is once you have that response, you can just add a cookie and make a new cookie with the name and value of whatever you'd like. It's literally that simple. Now, of course, to access cookies, all you have to do is get an array of cookie. Once again, you have to get the request cycle. And this time, you get a request. And you get all the cookies contained. And that will be a list of cookies. Now, of course, if you're actually within the request cycle itself, and therefore you can just do a request a static request cycle dot get dot get response and then cast that to a web response. Um, I suppose either way is fine. Um, I personally don't really <laughs> know the difference so much, but request cycle dot get will only work if you're actually within a request cycle. So more often than not, you might use the one on line twenty four instead. And that's pretty much all there is to it to building cookies in Wicket.